What's happening, y'all? And welcome to the Drunken Fist Podcast, where we like our nerd shit on the rocks and chased with good liquor. I am your host, Rab So Petty, aka Rabaru Tempest, and I hope you got your drink ready because I've got mine. What are we sipping on today? Uh, you can write in the comments if you're watching the video what you sipping today, but today I am sipping on some BS because I've already lied to you. Ain't no good liquor in this cup. <laughs> Uh, I've got some random rum mixed with some root beer that I'm just going to sip on because I don't got nothing else at the moment. But we still going to get into it. What I want to do with these episodes, I want to start every episode off with a quick hot take. And our hot take today is going to be titled Bullies and Bankais. Uh I keep seeing posts and have been seeing posts over the past, I don't know how many years, uh, like 10 or so plus years of people wanting to backtrack and act like they weren't bullying nerds like they th- this is usually what happens you see the post and it's like uh somebody rolling their eyes when someone's saying yeah I like anime now but uh and back when I was in school we used to get bullied for it. it's facts it's 100% facts and a lot of people the main issue we have is you don't want to be held accountable for being a terrible person back in elementary school middle school and high school I am 28 years old I grew up in the 2000s when you could not talk about like an anime I started watching anime when I was around 10 years old so it's been like almost God, it's almost been two decades for me. So, like, growing up and being an anime fan was tough. It was terrible. And y'all were mean as fuck. Like, y'all were terrible people to be around at the time. Like, the excuse is usually you guys were running with the Naruto arms down the hallways and stuff and being weird and powering up like Super Saiyans. Okay, we were children. What is your point? I'm in middle school. You sat and watched grown women, and and this 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 is just the ladies that watch Bad Girls Club and ha- Real Housewives and stuff at that age. You sat and watched grown women fight like fucking children for hours a day and then most of y'all went and got the bad girls fucking devil tattooed on y'all somewhere y'all made y'all whole personality another bitch but me making my personality something that actually teaches you like if if you're actually anime watcher you know that most anime like have like moral stories and all these different values you can learn from anime that nigga naruto never fucking gave up on chasing his fucking friend down that was his ninja fucking way and you made your personality a bunch of motherfuckers that don't got nothing better to do nothing better to do but fight in the club at they grown ass age so who was really the fucking issue i promise you it was not us. And that's just me saying that. I wasn't no ugly, musty, weird, fucking powering up in the fucking middle of school ass nigga. I, but I could not even bring up the fact that I liked anime without getting judged or bashed or called a child. All types of things. Because y'all were mean as fuck when I was growing up. Now it's a mainstream thing. A lot of y'all started liking anime because the world likes anime now. But y'all y'all were not y'all what 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 they say you weren't with me shooting in the gym at all bro you didn't go through the struggles of being a weeb in 2010 and 2009 and 2008 when niggas were calling you weird for watching anything that's not dragon ball z but a lot of you niggas made y'all personalities over a niggas freestyle on youtube let's be real about it I'm just saying, end of the day, even if I was powering up in the middle of class, bro, I'm a fucking kid. I'm not no grown ass man. Y'all be tailoring y'all whole personalities over grown ass people. And I can't tailor mine over something that's touched my heart just as much as that fucking freestyle or them bitches fighting in the club touched you like. Come on now, bro. A lot of y'all was claiming Taylor Gang like Wiz Khalifa knew y'all ass from a can of fucking paint. But I want to be from the fucking Leaf Village and I'm the fucking problem. Come on now. And I'll fucking drink to that. I will fucking drink to that. Outside of that, uh, 
Y'all were fucking bullies. Let me say that again. Y'all were fucking bullies at the time. Y'all weren't good people growing up. It's okay to hold, to be accountable and say, hey, I really did used to talk bad about y'all back in the day. Uh, and then I make excuse. I'm not even going to make no excuse about it. I used to talk bad about y'all back in the day. But this fucking anime shit some gas. If you did that, I'd be 100% up for it. Like, bro, just hold yourself accountable. It's easy to be like, that shit gas. I was wrong. It's okay to say that. We all go through character development. I'm not saying that y'all got to be terrible people right now because you like anime. But I know plenty of motherfuckers that was bullying people. And now they like anime and they try to act like they not fucking bully they weren't fucking bullies at the time that shit kills me which is why i support <laughs> i want to go back to something from a while back i supported the shit out of michael b jordan flexing on that one uh motherfucker that used to bully them in high school it's only funny to me that 90 percent of the fucking people i saw saying that michael b jordan was wrong for that shit were fucking bullies in high school bitch you don't remember getting bullied because you weren't you weren't bullied. You were the bully. That's 90% of what's going on here. So with that, again, bullies and bonkais, I scream bonkai in the middle of this shit right now. I can't get bullied because I'm with my peers now. 90% of y'all have become my peers. But don't forget where the fuck you came from. I've been a nerd my entire life for the majority of it. And I stood on that shit ten toes down regardless of motherfuckers talking about me. Y'all motherfuckers fucking set trip now because y'all realize the shit that we were watching and fucking doing moves from and shit in high school, middle school, elementary school. That shit gas. And it's going to continue to be gas because them niggas putting out some heat and they're going to continue to. And I will drink to fucking that. But... That's our hot take for today. Comment below what you think about Bonkais and bullies or bullies and Bonkais, whatever I named it. Let me know what y'all think. Were you bullied in high school or were you a bully? Do you feel like people honestly weren't bullied in high school for like an anime? I'm going to just let you know you kind of dense if you thought that, but that, that, that's just me. That's just me. That's just me. But if you're watching the video, comment below. If not, uh, just comment amongst your friends. Talk about it. Debate it. That's what we're here for. Uh, but moving forward, uh, today's podcast in general is going to be about something I really don't want to talk about, but I want to get out the way because I know people are going to ask at some point for something like this, and I just really don't want to, I just want to get out the way now. Today's podcast is mainly going to be focused around Rap So Petty, aka me, um, and just everything going on with doing these dubs and putting out anime content and th stuff of that nature. So I just want to really just get this out the way because I don't like talking about myself. And I know there's a lot of questions a lot of people have that can just I can just refer them to this podcast episode or this video in general or like clips of this video and just say, hey. This is me. This is the plans moving forward. This is everything I got going. It, 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 this is what you can see to learn what you need to know. So I ain't got to answer a billion questions a billion times. So to start off, my name is Rab. Rab so petty. Uh, and I am from St. Louis, Missouri. I'm 28 years old and I am a digital content creator. Uh, anime based nerd shit based content creator uh and i've been that for a few years now but as of recently i've had a crazy takeoff due to fan dubs hood dubs of specifically jujutsu kaisen but a lot of the general fan dubs are doing well as as well but mainly jujutsu kaisen let's be real with it uh majority of you have watched my content with jujutsu kaisen and y'all loving it i appreciate the support let me start off this by saying i had no idea then when i made the first dub which was the band for band uh with gojo hanami and jogo i had no idea me being like band for band was going to just shift my life completely i also when i saw that video starting to go off on instagram reels i'm like ah Let's capitalize on this. Like, I'm going to just keep making dubs because y'all yeah, like really fucking with it. And somehow that shit turned into a fucking movement, bro. That shit is crazy to me to 
I started this shit, I think, December 19th. It just turned February. I went from 2,000 followers on Instagram to fucking what I'm almost at 90 K now. Like that is insane. I had no YouTube subscribers. This, as of this morning, I got 27,000. And to think that this year I could hit a hundred K by doing something. I never thought I, I always start to do like voice work and stuff. I put in, uh, like auditions and stuff to do voice work, but I never knew that like fan dubbing something was going to give me this much of a, of a response. So, I appreciate the hell out of y'all, man. I I appreciate y'all more than you'll ever know. Like, the amount of things I see of my content is fucking crazy to me. Which, speaking of that, let me let me just clear the air with this really quick. I am Rab So Petty, and I am the creator of the original Big Raga the Op Stopper video. Let's clear the air now. That quote, roses are red, weapons against me won't prosper. With this sacred treasure, I summon Big Raga the Op Stopper. That is me. (laughs) That when you see, when you hear those words, that is me. Those are lines that I came up with in my mind. And it's this weird thing on the internet where people act like they don't realize what the internet is and how the internet can change someone's life and you having a big impact like that and saying a phrase that's literally all over the internet right now and you asking something like hey can I get a tag or some credit they will get on your ass for that and I don't understand it I don't understand it in the slightest like I'm not saying I'm not pressing nobody for it. I'm not over here being like belligerent or anything like I'm not treating nobody crazy. I'm not talking to nobody crazy, but I will hop on post and be like, hey, can I get a tag for my lines being used or you literally stealing my voice? Can I get a tag for that? And people will be in the comments like, oh, old nigga chasing the Internet joke. Yes, bro, because the Internet can change my life and the people around me's lives. Like, I don't think y'all grasping that concept. I cannot hop on a Jujutsu Kaisen video anywhere without seeing Big Rock at the Op Stopper anywhere so that having that much of an impact bro and i love the anime community for that because i see it on non-anime videos now like niggas are literally saying big rock and op stopper to anything and i appreciate the hell out of that i love that y'all love the jokes but again uh something having this much impact on a community that i love and i can't even be like hey bro can i just get credit for it because here's the thing I just started in this content creation, this form of content creation. Like I literally just started December 19th with the first dub. And in my first 10 videos, I've shaken the entire anime community. Bro, you can't tell me that's not something that can change my life. We've seen it with so many people that are sticklers in the black anime community now. And y'all give them credit for the things they do. I'm not saying I'm as big as RDC World as Ace Vane and It's Real 85, but I want to be. People are comparing my work to um, fucking Team Four Stars work. Like when we get to that point, bro, yes, I want to look credit for the things I'm doing because, again, it only pushes me forward to be able to make more content like that's that's why I keep trying to say again I am the creator of Big Raga the Op Stopper and I will stand on that and keep not even I'm not even demanding it but I'm gonna say it I'm gonna keep demanding credit for it because I'm keep I'm keeping good content going and one thing we're not gonna act like is that's the only quotable I got (laughs) like come on now free Gojo till it's backwards Come on now, I'm I'm giving y'all quotables on top of quotables on top of quotables. Yes, Big Raga the Op Stopper is the biggest quotable. Yes, 100%. It's the biggest quotable. I can't even I can't even hold you for that. It is the biggest quotable I got. But I'm not going to act like it's the only one. Motherfuckers what you think I'm losing? No bitch, we losing. Yeah, that, it's so many things that are so quotable now. Like I'm trying to think. Mr. Put It On with Toto. Uh, a bag is not just a decoration. Uh, a bag is just a decoration, but getting money is uh, the soul. Like, it's so many of these things, bro. 
we done bought so many custom tees that <laughs> that they think we starting a clothing brand. Like, don't we not gonna act like I only got one quotable? I'm not. <laughs> we not sorry. Wait, we not sorry. We strong. Like, come on now. So me, I'm not. I don't think people understand hopping on different different social media apps and literally chasing your voice down. I don't think many people understand that issue, which is a crazy problem to have, which means y'all love the content and y'all see how great the content is doing. Some of y'all just know how great the content's doing. So y'all steal it because y'all see it's already in the algorithm. And that's how, you know, TikTok and Reels algorithm works. If it's already doing well, it's going to be pushed up because it's doing well. Some of y'all do that, but a lot of y'all just enjoy the content and y'all want to get it out there for your friends and things of that nature. And I appreciate the hell out of that. Uh, the biggest mistake I made starting off with this shit is not watermarking from the beginning because I hate when people watermark shit like when you watermark a video that might just flop I'm just like what are you watermarking for don't nobody want to steal that I didn't know that Big Raga the Op Stopper was gonna change the fucking anime world you can't you can't talk about anything in Jujutsu Kaisen without somebody saying Big Raga like I did not count for that happening I I'm not, and when I say I didn't expect that to go viral, I expected I expected it to do hella well. But to the magnitude that Big Rocket the Op Stopper went, I didn't have a plan for that. I'm not one of them niggas like, I didn't expect this to go viral. I'm saying I did not expect it to have this much of an impact on the JJK community as a whole. I don't think anybody plans for the things they say to have a fucking global impact on a brand that I don't own. <laughs> like I didn't, I didn't have any plans for that, but I'm going to keep pushing the content out. Cause it's still doing amazing. Like going back again, I never expected this to go as crazy as it did. What happened originally with the very first dub I did, um, I was, Oh, I saw a meme that was like when you pour a uh, half a bottle of Dior Sauvage on on your body and walk up to a homeless man or something. And I'm like, you know what? I want to dub something like that. Fuck it. I'm going to dub it. And fun fact, excuse me, that first video is the one and only the one and only video where I did not sound design the actual video. That was the actual audio from the episode that I just like took and chopped up so that it would continue making the same noises. But that is the only video that I did not sound design. And that shit just went crazy. Like I hit my boy, uh, Cal Macan. I hit him. I'm like, Hey, uh, can you do the voice of Hanami? I just need you to be like, Oh, what's that smell? And things of that nature. And he sent that back super quick. I just put it together and threw it out there. And at first it didn't do anything. Like it got a few laughs from like my Facebook friends and st- things of that nature. And then I look down, look back up and it's got fucking 10,000 likes on reels. And I'm like, Oh, this is going crazy. I'm going to make some more. Fuck it. And from there, I think I made uh, Gojo getting locked up, getting put in the prison realm. I made that video. Uh, That started the free my nigga, Big G, free Gojo. That kind of started that. But people didn't peep it. And it also started UG being a crip in my fucking universe. I, I don't know how we got there, but he a crip now. So it is what it is. Um... But moving forward from there, I've done all the sound design for every single episode outside of that. Every single reel, I fully do the sound design. To give kind of a background, I am a fucking film school dropout, a filmmaker at heart, and, and a filmmaker at heart. So with that, I know like sound design and all that stuff, like putting the right sounds in the right places, doing the buildups, things of that nature. That's something I've specialized in for years because uh, being honest, I've wanted to be a filmmaker my entire life. To be honest with you, I think I've realized in the past month or month or two that 
my main dream is to just do content creation in general. Uh, I'll film is a part of that film is a big part of that. Like I can't wait to do like a movie or something, but I just want to do real good content creation, but that's besides the point. Uh, but all the episodes that are out, I have fully sound designed outside of the very first one, which is the band for band with Hanami and Jogo. I've done the sound design for everything going crazy with that shit because again i want to give you a good product i think one of the reasons that my dub stand out more than like uh, th- again these are people i fully like look up to and like respect in this like fan dub community but like ace vane and it's real 85 for the most part their videos are just them dubbing and being funny don't get me wrong i'm funny but i don't think yeah, I would take in the videos like I did if I didn't do like full sound design on it. I want you to watch my shit and feel like you watching a full episode of anime. Like, I want you to feel that because nobody else is like really leaning this far into like the hood anime dubs like I am. So I want every single thing y'all do or every th- single thing y'all watch to be not only sound design to the point where you feel like you actually watching the anime, but I also wanted to have a good storyline. I always push to have a good storyline uh like how me having one line about a function in the initial video has turned the entire Shibuya incident into a party that they had and the ops was there and shit just went left like that is what's different than like just doing a bunch of random dubs like all this shit happened at, in the same storyline and it also follows the storyline of the actual ship shibuya arc Sh- uh, let me just say shibuya shibuya however you pronounce that has been killing me for the past few months or so however long i've been doing this that shit hard to say but anyway the whole shibuya arc uh I've I've damn near followed it, just made it like a hood situation instead of like the official JJK storyline. But I followed it pretty well to the point where you can watch it and be like, oh, bro, I need to go watch this anime. And it's love seeing comments of people that's like, hey, bro, I wasn't even going to watch season two. I ain't, I ain't never watched JJK. And I'm about to go watch that now because of your videos, bro. Like, that shit love. So that's why I follow it so heavily because I want to be fucking different, bro. I want to be able to put out content that, like, really feels like anime. But, again, the black cultured version of it, the hood version of it, whatever you want to call it. I want to be able to continue to put stuff out there, which is why I'm not just putting out random just dubs of some stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm going to do some like random dub compilations uh, soon, probably. But I want everything to have a storyline, like a full (laughs) storyline, which don't get me wrong. It's kind of hard and it's even hard to not. Oh, I ain't been drinking this whole time. My bad, y'all. It's kind of hard to keep stuff going and keep stuff ongoing when you're fighting like YouTube and other platforms that are trying to take your stuff off. The only place that has been consistently on my side has been Instagram this entire time. I already had a TikTok, a TikTok platform. Um, I have had like 75,000 followers on TikTok for years now because I started doing anime content there. I also did Uncle Talk there and some more stuff. But for some reason, when I started doing the the dubs and stuff, TikTok was not fucking with me in the slightest, bro. Like, and I don't understand it. I, I, I really don't understand it. I don't know what I did to TikTok for them to be like, no, nah, bro, we not we not fucking with you. But they definitely stopped pushing my content for real. They're starting to now, but I still get like stuff taken down every time I post on there. And I let me real quick. I'm going to applaud myself because originally I knew this was going to be like a ranty ass video because I woke up this morning. I uh, got to mention on t- Twitter, I do not use Twitter to push this content. Let that be known. I watch adult videos on Twitter. That's the only thing I got Twitter for. But um, <laughs> I, I got mentioned on Twitter and somebody was like, hey, bro, I don't know what's going on, but your video unlisted. I go in my emails. They've age restricted like five of my Instagram shorts. And then they took down my 
Shibuya incident part two completely because of a copyright because of a copyright and I'm just like bro I could just I'm I could dispute this but I'm gonna I'm just do y'all I'm gonna do what y'all asking for I'm gonna cut these clips out of here real quick I tried to cut the first clip all right cool then I'm five clips in now they trying to cut out I'm like bro at this point I might as well just re-upload this and then I go back and I'm like you know what let me go ahead and look at all these clips I've like pulled stuff from because I want to see if they're getting hit with any copyright shit. Ain't none of these people getting hit with copyright on any of that shit. So I don't understand why I'm getting hit with copyright for it. Like I'm legit confused because bro, I'm looking through and I'm like, all right, this got not only a copyrighted song on it. This is the full clip that I got this shit from. Oh, that's crazy. This has the copy copyrighted audio and the copyrighted clip on it but y'all taking my video down when i have a disclaimer in the start of my video that i don't own any of this like take my monetization away i'm cool with that i find means elsewhere to get my funding i have no problem with that bro i promise you i have no problem with that but y'all taking the video down in in general Y'all blocking my video from everywhere because of copyrighted clips that I literally got off of YouTube. And it would be different. It would be different if I got the clips off of like a Crunchyroll video, a Toho Company video, a official JJK page video. No, I'm getting them from random creators that upload full clips of JJK moments. But for some reason, some strange reason, their shit isn't getting blocked. But mine is just make it make sense. That's the only rant I'm going to do on that. I'm going to fight to get it all done. I'm going to fight for disputes. This upcoming Sunday, uh, I'm posting the full arc of Shibuya. Prayerfully, they don't try to fight me on it. YouTube's the only place I can put all this stuff out in chronological order in the big story format. So I want it to work like really bad because it it just feels good watching it like a full episode of anime. And I want y'all to have that. I want y'all to be able to have that and be able to watch that how you want to. Like, I'm going to keep fighting for y'all. End of the day. <laughs> Speaking of YouTube and all these places and monetization and things of that nature. Uh, at some point, I'm not saying it's right now. I'm not saying it's sometime super soon. I'm definitely going to have to start censoring. Like, really bad going to have to start censoring. I cuss too much for all these apps at this point. And the content that I push out there is hood stuff which I'm not going to go on a super rant or tangent about that, but I'm going to have to censor at some point because I, I, I would like to be able to dive into full-time content creation for y'all. Not only doing dubs, like doing like short films with anime-based short films, not even just anime-based because I'm a nerd all the way through. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of anime stuff around here, but I got Spider-Man poses. I'm a comic book fan. I'm a gamer. I'm all that stuff. So like, I want to be able to make content for nerds in general. Uh, like my discord right now is full of just us, man. Just nerds, not, not even going to say just black nerds because it's majority blurs, but just nerd content in general. I want to be able to push out there for you. So I'm gonna have to censor these at some point because I, I do at, at some point, it'd be nice to, you know, be able to, you know, quit the day job and, <laughs> you know, focus on content creation. But to start off right now, I want to I want to give you out the full raw version of my content so that y'all can reminisce at some point like, hey, one thing he ain't never did was BS on the content for us. He only censored because he wanted to put out more content for us. But I'm going to start off and I'm going to give y'all this shit pure as I possibly can. I'm going to cuss my little ass off because that's how I talk. And that's what people we not gonna act like people don't love that shit uh and i'm gonna continue to do that i'm gonna continue to do that for now but at some point i am going to censor um but outside of that i think just talking about like moving forward i got so many plans to move forward as i said uh i want to make these linear stories with 
all these universes. My my boy, uh, Cognac Beats or Cognac King. Uh, that's the man that produced the opening for Hood JJK. Um, also is the voice of Toto, Big Raga, and Inumaki. <laughs> Uh, he said that I'm making the Hood Cinematic Universe, which is dope. Hood Animated Universe, whatever you want to call it. But I want these universes to be like really dope, man. I want to make stories out of all this stuff that kind of follows the anime storylines, but I can still make my own stories within that so that even non anime watchers can like fall in love with the shit because it's talking about content that relates more to them than being a Jujutsu Kaisen sorcerer. Like, I think it just makes it easier to consume. And I'm going to continue doing that. Right now, uh, Shibuya Arc should be finished by this weekend if YouTube isn't playing games with me. Um, But outside of that, after Shibuya, I'm going to do Hidden Arc. I'm going to do Hidden Inventory Arc with JJK. I'm going to do JJK Zero, make that a full movie type joint. And then I'm going to do JJK Season 1. Again, that's going to take a lot of time because it's a lot of roles to fill and things of that nature. Uh, So I'm going to keep doing that. Um, And then I also got Attack on Titan and Death Note in the works to do the linear stories with them. Uh, just to give you our podcast listeners kind of a gist of how those are going to go. Um, and this is a spoiler war- warning, quick spoiler warning be- for AOT, I guess. I don't know. Um, but for Attack on Titan, the entire premise of Attack on Titan is going to be Aaron and <laughs> Aaron and Zeke talking in the paths and. Aaron's ready to Aaron's taking his sweet time trying to start the rumbling and Zeke is like rushing him. But Aaron's like, hey, hold on, suburban nigga. Let let the hood nigga handle his business. I, I'm going I'm to take my time. And the whole premise of that is going to be Aaron telling his story on why he's such a street nigga and why that nigga Zeke was uh, sheltered and some more shit. It's going to be good. I promise you it's going to be good as hell. It is going to be hilarious. Zeke is being voiced by my boy who did Toto and all the rest of them. So y'all already going to love the, the voice acting there. Uh, and we're going to have a fun time. Um, just talking about that, that's one of my... Oh, going into Death Note before I take that tangent. Uh, Death Note is going to be a little really similar, but I'll, like the flip side of Light and L's relationship. Um, instead of... <laughs> Instead of L being like, I know you're Kira, L is just going to gaslight like the entire time. Like, I know you can't be Kira. You pussy. Like, you're not no killer. Kira is literally a murderer. Look at you. You wear dress shirts that are untucked. What? A, why would I think you're Kira? And he just going to gaslight him the whole time. So that's going to be fun. I can't wait for that. But that's how those are going. Um, And to ask some real quick, frequently asked questions. Yes, I do the sound design. I've explained that several times for all this. I do the full sound design. And no, I'm not like using CapCut for that type of thing. I use Premiere Pro. I use Adobe products for all of my content. I use Premiere Pro uh, for the video editing. I record in Adobe Audition, which I'm actually recording this podcast in right now. Uh, I use Adobe Audition for the audio. Um, the only thing I use CapCut for is my subtitles because it just makes it 10 times easier to subtitle because CapCut can understand black language. They understand AAVE. Um, <laughs> so Cap, that's the only thing I use CapCut for because people think that I'm just using like some template. No, bro. I'm like, this is a full production every time I put these together. Like, I got to take the audio and like fully sound design my own stuff like every time. Um, Majority of another question. Majority of the voices are mine. Majority of the voices are mine. All the female characters as of now, uh, it might change soon, but all the female characters as of now have been mine. Uh, majority of the main characters are my voice. The only characters that haven't been my voice thus far are Toto, uh, Toto, Raga, Inumaki, which is my boy, Cognac, Mo, Maito, which is my boy, Tamo, aka Mo. 
Um, now Beto Zenning, the old Zenning nigga by my boy Retro. Um, and then Ghetto, which is by my boy Koo, a.k.a. West. So those are the only people I haven't voiced. I believe I might be leaving somebody out. And if I am leaving, oh, Hanami by my boy uh, Kyle Macan. And Toji, almost forgot Toji by my boy JD. Uh, if you're looking for any like shirts or anything to be done, make sure you hit them up. But make sure y'all showing love to all those people, man. Like those are my guys. I couldn't get all this done without them because the creative mind is a crazy place to be in and having help makes it easier to get the crazy stuff done you know what i'm saying and i will drink to that because nigga this should be tough y'all help a lot too though like the suggestions i get under like comments and things of that nature be making it easy to make stuff moving forward like i just recently posted the yuda video um, and people were commenting, damn, you to sound like a pimp. That shit hard. You to sound like an OG. That shit hard. And I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna lean into that. That's what y'all like. And I'm gonna lean into it. So I appreciate y'all being transparent on the things y'all like, like it makes it easier to like keep leaning into it, but not like leaning, not like falling into that shit so that y'all like, okay, you overdoing the game, but just leaning into it enough for y'all like, Hey, I fuck with it. Um, and the, crazy thing is this reception for all this shit has been so positive like i get the negative comment every now and then but like two negative comments every five thousand comments is insane bro and i appreciate the hell out of you i can't say enough how much i appreciate y'all i'm trying to think if there's any more frequently asked questions i have Yes, I'm doing the rest of JJK. Stop asking. I just said it earlier, but I'm going to say it again. I'm I'm doing the rest of JJK. I promise you. I promise you. Uh, no, I don't want to do DBZ. Uh, and the reason I don't want to do DBZ is because I'm already getting comparisons to uh, Team Four Star and Dragon Ball Abridged. I don't want to lean into that too hard i appreciate the comments don't don't get it twisted i that means the world to me that y'all feel like i'm on par with shit that's like really really fan that fan dub fucking dbz a bridge is the only way i watch dbz so like y'all comparing me to that like touches my heart something crazy bro like that means the entire world to me but i don't want to lean into that side of content it's so many different animated like people are like sleeping on either sleeping on love and never got like fan dubbed and things of that nature that i can tap into without touching dbz like I t- I keep trying Naruto stuff because I Naruto is what started my anime journey fully, but I'm trying to lean towards like stuff like solo leveling that like people are like have a cult following for, but people aren't like super watching like that. Um, assassinate the assassination classroom and Shield Hero and Code Geass and all types of stuff. Like I want to do. A bunch of stuff, man. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm always do some mainstream stuff. Like, JJK fans are fucking insane. So they've been going crazy with this. But I'm gonna try plenty of anime. It's so many anime. I'm so hyped to do. Like, I'm super hyped for Attack on Titan and Death Note now that I know the story for those. But I can't wait to make a story up for Demon Slayer. I can't wait to make up a story for who knows, bro? Like Boruto coming out, actually making Boruto good. Can't wait to do one for Slime. I can't wait to do a bunch of things, man. And I'm going to keep the content going like this ain't stopping no time soon that I promise you. And if you would like to help this continue going, you can, you know, grab some merch from a brother, <laughs> which uh, it's more of that coming. Y'all been going crazy with the merch, like the support in general is more than I could have ever asked for, man. And like even the community I've built in, like my discord or like my streams on Twitch, like y'all make y'all make me so happy to be a nerd in this time bro that's why i started this off with the hot take it was so hard being a nerd growing up bro but y'all make it so easy and y'all make it so fun like i can barely believe where this is going but this should have answered 90 percent of questions that people do have (laughs) about me and what i've got going on and who i am 
uh, and what I plan to do with all this. So hopefully hear me out unless I'm like on an interview or something. The questions won't be asked because y'all got the answers right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, but no, really, truly from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate every single person that's supporting um, the Drunken Fist podcast is going to be a pretty regular thing. I'm going to see. We'll see how this episode goes, and I'm going to try to make it as regular as possible. Um, My setup for the podcast isn't where I want it to be, but I'm going to still push it out because I feel it feels necessary to me. It feels really necessary. So I'm going to keep pushing to get that done, to get this done. I'm going to keep pushing the dubs out, even if YouTube, TikTok, and the world is fighting against me. I'm going to keep doing that. Give me my credit on Big Raga. Uh, What else? Outside of that, any of these topics you can throw in the comments or somewhere doesn't really matter. But discuss it amongst your friends. That's what this is for, man. I want to continue to do stuff that gets the nerds talking. And I'm going to keep doing that. So I'm going to end this and every episode the same way we take shots where I'm from and with my people. If you can take a drink with me real quick, just everybody get your drinks ready. If you ain't got no liquor in your cup, get some in right now so we can close this out on a good note. Uh, we do this like this where I'm from. We lift the cup up. We say pimps up, put it back down, hose down, pick it back up. If the bitch and if the bitch can't swim, she bound to drizzle out. So that's how we doing that. I almost lost my train of thought for a second, but that's how we're going to end this video. I want y'all to take a drink or a shot, whatever y'all want to with me real quick. If you ain't never listened to this podcast before, this is how we going to do this. We going to go pimps up, hose down. If the bitch can't swim, she bound to drizzle out. I appreciate y'all for listening outside of that. I love y'all. My name is Rab. So petty, AKA Rabaroo Tempest. And y'all have a wonderful rest of y'all day. Can't wait to do the next one.